Hey guys, so I am back, and yes, I'm here with another haul video. I know, judge me. You can judge me, it's okay, because I just did a major haul video and shared like a bunch of things, and I still have another one to share with you guys, so judge me. I can take it, bring it. I got my big girl drawers on, bring it, bring it. <laughs> no, you guys don't mind because I love haul videos, you guys love haul videos, and I wanted to share some items with you that I picked up that I think you guys would be interested in and I wanted to make sure you guys knew about them because they're fun, they're exciting, and I'm just happy to share makeup because it's makeup, I mean really. Um, first thing I picked up, on my nails, we'll show you my nails, let's zoom in so you can see them. Yeah, so the first thing I wanted to share with you guys is some Color Club Holographic Nail Polishes. And I don't believe this collection is new, but it's new to me, and I saw it, and I was like, I was all over it. Thank you, Jessica, for introducing me to these. She did a haul on these, and I was like, uh, yes, I need them. So I got the shade on my nails that I'm wearing e is Blue Heaven, and it's a beautiful, shimmery, like, a silver shade, but it has blue undertones. It's really beautiful. I got the shade Angel Kiss, which is more of a green one. Yeah, so this one is Angel Kiss. This one is Blue Heaven. This is the one I am wearing. And this one is Beyond, which is kind of a deep slate color, almost like a black. It's a beautiful color. This one is Harp on it, which is very similar to the Blue Heaven, but this one has more silver to it. The Blue Heaven has a little bit of blue to it. And then the last, no, I have two more. I have Over the Moon, which is definitely a more blue one. I don't know why these three look so similar. I don't know why I got them, but anyway. And then the last one is Cosmic Fate, which is more of a coppery one. So these are really beautiful. You'll see that these three look very similar. This one is the Blue Heaven. This one in the middle is a harp on it. And then the outer one is Over the Moon. So they look very similar. So I don't know what the difference is. It shows a little bit different on my nails, but not too intensely. Those nail polishes are blowing my mind because I am so big on holographic nails. I think they look gorgeous. I love like the metallic look of it. I just love them. And then something else that I was equally excited about is this palette here from Lancome. It is the Audacity in Paris palette. And the curator of this palette was Lisa Eldridge. And Lisa Eldridge is probably one of those makeup artists or the makeup artist to me that I admire the most. I love her looks. I love how down to earth she is. She does great YouTube videos for free where she's sharing her knowledge. She's showing tips and tricks. She does a blog or a website where she speaks about makeup. She just wrote a book. I ordered it, by the way, on Amazon. I pre-ordered it because I need it. Lisa is just one of those people that I wholeheartedly love watching and I love to see her succeed. And she is now working for Lancome and she worked on this palette. It is the Audacity in Paris palette, like I said. It's a little bit difficult to open. It's 16 eyeshadows. It's, it's not the prettiest palette, you know, outside it's just simple design, but inside you have 16 palettes. And they're organized in, I would say, quads, where you have three shades and then you have a top shade. And they're very simple, subtle colors. I wouldn't call this a bold in-your-face palette at all. And it also comes with a dual-ended brush. This one's like a synthetic concealer type end, and then the other end is a blending brush. These colors are not that impressive. They're not bold and in-your-face. They're very subtle, wearable colors. So Lisa is all about subtle wearable shades so I can see the everyday woman really loving this. For me I wasn't thoroughly impressed but I have to play around with it a little bit more. The colors are sophisticated, they're understated, they're not bold like shimmery shiny shades. They're very wearable so I think someone that enjoys a wearable palette will enjoy this. This has again 16 shades but it's a little bit pricey. I did get, uh, what was it, 20% off. You can sign up and you can get 20% off or 15% off on the Lancome side. So that's what I did to get mine for a little cheaper. But love, love Lisa. So I had to get the palette. Even if I'm not in love, love with the palette, like I'm not dying over the palette, I am dying over Lisa, so I had to. 
And then I picked up um, a couple of highlighters. Yes, I'm like all over highlighters. The first one I got was a Betty Luminizer. This is from The Bomb. And The Bomb is available at Kohl's. So if you have Kohl's cash, listen, get your Kohl's cash and you can use your 20% off, 15 it, uh, Is that allowed on cosmetics? I'm not 100% sure. But Kohl's cash got me this one. This is in the shade right, the Betty Luminizer. And wait, I think the pen is coming out. Or is it magnetic? Oh no, that's glue. It's shaking. Anyway, it is a light shimmery bronze shade and this guy is great for women of color it is shimmery it is smooth it is blendable it is creamy it is that ultra finely milled kind of product that doesn't accentuate the skin it doesn't show up as glitter and it's so subtle this will work beautifully on dark skin so that's why i got it i have the Cindy Luminizer, which is a little bit more intense. It's definitely a high frost champagne shade, but the Betty Lou, yes, and it's it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. It is a golden, bronzy shade. It has a little bit of a pink undertone, which I love for highlighters on my skin tone personally. It just looks really effortless, and it looks like a magical glow on your skin without being glittery or shiny. So this one I highly recommend if you're a darker skin looking for a beautiful highlight. The next one I grabbed is from Becca. It's their Shimmerin' Skin Perfector in the shade Blushed Copper. And this is the one that I didn't have. I have all the others except for Moonstone, which I'm not going to get Moonstone because it's just too light for me. And Opal is as far as I'm going to go. So I'm not getting Moonstone, but people were recommending Blushed Copper to me. And I said, you know what? I should get it. When it came out, it's in this beautiful pinky rose gold um, um what do you call this? <laughs> Rose Gold Palette too, or Compact too, so it's really beautiful. This one is another pinky coppery highlight. This again, beautiful on darker skin tones, and I don't know, I resisted it for so long because I was like, no, I don't need it, whatever, and it was limited edition, so I'm like, whatever, when it goes, it goes, and I won't feel bad, but it's been limited edition for like a year and a half or two years now, so it's still available. You can get this beautiful, beautiful, it's shimmery. No, it's not shimmery. Stop. No, I lied. It's glowy. It's finely milled without being overly shimmery. Because you can see, you can see the color of my skin, but it's not overly shimmery. So I think this one is also a great color if you're looking for a nice color for darker skin. And then the last highlight that I got is from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's a limited edition um, collaboration highlighter. This is with Norman Parkinson. I don't know who that is. I have no idea. Should I research that? I don't know who that person is. But they did a Dreamy Glow Highlighter Illuminating Youth Powder. The packaging is beautiful. The color itself is like a very pale pink champagne color. And when I got it, I was like, oh crap, this is going to be too light on me. And I really got it because I was impressed with the highlighter in the Film Star Bronzing Glow. It's a very finely milled highlighter. It adds a glow without being too overwhelming. So I was impressed with the formula. So I was like, all right, I'm going to check out this one. Beautiful packaging, really impressive, expensive again. But when I applied it to my skin, I was like, oh, it's not too bad. And it's very finely milled again, like I said. And it's a light pink, so you can definitely tone it down. But if you are much darker... You might want to stay away from that because it can come off a little bit like too stark. It's not ashy, but it's too stark. But the more you blend it in, the more it blends in with your skin. So if, as you go back and forth, it will blend out a little bit more. And it does look like a very beautiful luminous glow. So you don't have to be too shy with this. Again, I'm about, I'm looking at an NC50 right now with my tan. But this guy, it actually works pretty well on my skin tone. So you know, it's a definite try if you want to. And then I went ahead and grabbed some setting powders. Now, setting powders for me, I it's a necessity because I have very oily skin. So I set my foundation no matter what, even if it's with another foundation powder. I don't like the powder by themselves. Like, I won't use powder. Well, I have and I can, but I prefer to use liquid and then use a powder. So I grabbed also the Becca Mineral Powder Foundation. It is in the shade, which shade did I get? Bamboo. Because I went in store and I swatched them and I was going to get tobacco, but tobacco ended up being too dark. So bamboo turned out just fine. And it looks light, 
But once you apply it over wet found or liquid foundation or something moist, it's going to absorb and kind of deepen up. So that's why I got this shade. And so far, I really love it. I love how it feels. I lo it's lightweight. I love how it looks. It really smooths and blurs pores and it looks really flawless so it's a really beautiful powder the next setting powder that i got which i am the most impressed with are the nars soft velvet loose powders oh, these guys i am so impressed and so in love with these powders i got the shade mountain this one and this is the shade heat I got Mountain first and I really loved how it felt on my skin and I got a lighter shade like I, I anticipated it be I anticipated it being a little light and I was like well if it's too light I can use it as a highlight powder no problem but then I really love the texture of it so I was like screw that I'm getting the other shade too so I got the shade heat the heat one kind of matches my skin tone closely right now oh my god these powders are so beautiful you don't understand Again, this is mountain and this is heat. They're so beautiful. I I, I just want to slap myself. I literally want to slap myself. Where is my husband going? Come show them me? your Tough Mudder shirt, babes. Cover up that. Just show them that you don't have to come into the... Yeah, show them your Tough Mudder shirt. Isn't he cute? He just completed Tough Mudder, Long Island, 2015. Go, babe. Finisher. Yes, you're a finisher. That's High right. five. And we're going to post his video, so stay tuned for that. He did really well. I'm so proud of you, babe. Good job. Mwah, mwah. But I want to kick myself in the teeth. These are so good. You see how I just switched from there to the... Yes, I want to kick myself in the teeth because these are so freaking good. No one told me about these. Where... Y'all are holding out. I don't like that. I don't like that. You see how I share with you guys, but y'all ain't share with me? You stay there. I'm watching you. But these, they're loose powders, so if you're not into loose powders, don't worry, don't fret. They have a pressed version. Hello, hello, hello. So I got the pressed version as well. I got the pressed version in heat. Where did I put that one? Oh, it's right here. I got the pressed version in heat. It comes in a compact like this. And I got the heat one because it matches my skin. I love NARS's packaging, but they're so freaking... They're black, so you can't tell what's in them, so you have to know what's in them. But this one is heat. It's a matte powder. It comes with a little sponge and stuff, so you can take this on the go. Beautiful, beautiful powder. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful powder. So I got this for touch-ups. It blends in nicely with my skin. This stuff just gives you an airbrushed, flawless finish. And what I like doing with the loose powder, wet my beauty blender. And I do this with um, loose powders. Not necessarily with pressed powders, just with the loose powders. I will damp my beauty blender, pick up the product, and then press it over my skin. And that helps the powder absorb a little bit more and give this airbrushed finish. And I've been really loving using these powders for that. So fantastic. Highly, highly recommend these powders. And then I also grabbed, yes, I know, I'm doing the most with powders right now, but powders just they're my thing just accept it just deal <laughs> just deal I got the naked skin from urban decay the ultra definition foundation the powder foundation and I already have one but I got a backup because I hit pen and I don't want to run out of things when I hit pen I'm like screw that I love it I'm gonna get it and I had to try it out first to make sure that I loved it before I committed this is in the shade medium dark golden I got the right good good I got the right shade so comes in a compact like this has a powder again and a mirror hit pen you see beautiful powder again also love this one I know people are gonna be like well which one do you prefer it depends on the look I'm going for for flawless absolutely pore free beautiful complexion I'm going with the NARS ones but I also like the Becca one for poreless foundation um, look and the everyday wear I would go with the NARS I mean the Urban Decay one so it's like I can't pick a favorite it just depends on how I feel that day and what I'm going for so to tell me to pick a favorite, that's very difficult for me. It's very difficult. I have issues. I don't like it. Then I grabbed, um, I should mention these. I used them already in a video, but I'm going to mention them because I just got them and I didn't share them. I got the Urban Decay Brow Beater Microfine Brow Pencil and Brush. This is in the shade Dark and I got the shade Neutral, Dark, Neutral Brown, Neutral Brown, Neutral, right? I always go. It is the shade Neutral Brown. So 
So the packaging is beautiful. It's a purple signature packaging from Urban Decay. Very beautiful. And I also got the Brow Tamer um, Brow Gel, right? Do they call it anything special? Brow Tamer Flexible Hold Tinted Brow Gel. So I got the shade. In that one, I got the shade Dark. Beautiful products, lovely products, but I feel like they're overpriced for how much you get. In the Brow Tamer, you get 0.15 fluid ounce, but in the Urban, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, you get how much product does it tell me? 0.28, and they're the same price. So for me, I would rather pay the $20 and get the Anastasia one versus getting this one from Urban Decay, even though it's a great product. Don't get me wrong, it's very nice. But, I mean, if you wanted to go out and get it and try it, definitely recommend it because it's great. But it's, you know, it's like you have more product here, good product too, so which one should I go for? Same thing with the pencil. There is 0.001 ounce in this, and the Anastasia pencil is 0.003. So it's three times as much product, and I don't know... I just feel like if I'm going to spend $20, I'm going to spend it on something that I'm getting more product for. The Anastasia pencil, I think the Urban Decay one is a little bit more finely pointed. Fine pointed. Fine pointed. Smaller point, yes. Beautiful colors, yes. Works really well, yes. Stays on my skin, yes. But I feel like I would rather spend the money on the Anastasia one. Because I love the Anastasia one. I had no issues with it. I just wanted to try the Urban Decay one. You get what I'm saying? You get me. You understand, don't. Then, um... I also got, let's see, from Tarte, I grabbed, it's the Tartist Clay Paint Liner, and I grabbed this because Tarte sent me a gift card for $50 off my next purchase. Like, what? Where? And it wasn't like $50 if you spend this, it was $50 because of my tokens, because I shop from Tarte, because they have great shipping. So I shop from Tarte when I want Tarte products. And the tokens, they gave me $50 off. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm here. So it's a gel liner, but it's in a tube. And they gave, gave, gave you a brush. Where's the brush? Let me get the brush. Oh. It's a angled top liner brush. Thin liner brush. It looks pretty decent. And then you work off, like, the, the tip of it. Off the little tip. It has, like, a little divot. And you... You get the product off that. This is in the shade black. So I'm interested in seeing how this works and seeing how I like it. But I had to just grab, hello, $50 off. $50, $50. And I also grabbed, with the $50, my Powder Player Bamboo Pressed Powder Foundation Brush. And I love top brushes. This is the one. I love the Irbuki brush. Love, love, love this brush. So I decided to go ahead and grab this one. I heard some good things about it, so I wanted to try it out. And it's a nice, big, and fluffy brush. It's great, great for powder. So with these pressed powders that I have, it's great for applying all over my skin. Beautiful, beautiful brush. It's really soft. It's not overly dense, where it's gonna like not pick a product and just not that it's not gonna pick a product, but it's gonna move product too much around. It's just like the perfect density. So really love this brush and they sent me this is like a sample and it's a pretty decent size sample this is the clean slate timeless smooth and primer so i'm gonna try this out and see if i want to actually get it's a pore minimizing primer which i use and mattifying primers is what i use or prefer to use so i'm gonna try this out to see if i want to get the full size and then I got two mascara, well, I got one mascara and then another um, mascara-ish product. I got the Estee Lauder, Lord have mercy, the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer Lash Primer. Yeah, Lash Primer. It's a, it feels like, I used it already, it feels like it's almost like it's powder. Like it's powder mascara, or it's a, it's a definitely a drier formula. I feel like it has fibers in it, but not really. I don't know what it, how to explain it. It's like a texturizer for your lashes. So it texturizes them and allows them to grab onto mascara a little bit more. And it's black, so it's not like you have to cover all this white primer. And everybody has been raving about this, so I said, let me give it a try. It's like a texturizer for your lashes. That's what I would call it. It adds texture to your lashes, so it grabs onto mascara a lot better. So I've been using that, and I've been loving it. 
and then I have the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. And I wasn't even going to get this one, but I said, you know what, it looks interesting. It's a very thin um, nylon bristles, very thin, not that it's thin, they're very short, they're very stubby. And this is not the type of brush I go for, I go for nylon bristles. These are the rubberized bristles. That's, did I mix that up? Yeah. The nylon bristles, like the one from the Too Faced Better Than Sex that looks like brush hairs, like hair brush hairs. And then these are rubberized. So I don't usually go for rubberized. But they're so jam-packed with these really short bristles. And Clinique mascaras are not as expensive as other mascaras. And the worst, worst comes to worst, I could return it. But so far, I like it. What I've done is I, I've been sandwiching these things. I use the primer. Then I use this, then I use the Too Faced. This one's a wetter formula because it's new, and then the Too Faced is more dry, so it builds more volume. But this one gives a nice look to my lashes as well. So I've been doubling up, and using them together really works well. So I have been satisfied. Also from Tarte, I forgot to mention, I got this brush as well. It is the Tarte Frameworker. Yeah, Frameworker Double-Ended Bamboo Brow Powder Brush. And it's this brush, I'll zoom in so you can see. It has an angled brush at the end, a very thin angled brush. And then it has this flat, this slanted side on the other end. And I'm like, what the hell is that for? And I don't know why, why I would need this with a brow brush, but it actually works well to blend out underneath the brow, like on the brow bone area. So I'm gonna use it for that, but I don't know why they decided to put these two ends on a brow brush but the brow part is very thin the angled edge is very thin it applies product nicely and I like Tarte brushes like I said so this is another brush that I got from them and then I'll talk about some products that I grabbed from the Sephora collection which people sleep on like Sephora's collection some of their things are really really good they have the new Sephora contour matte gel eyeliner waterproof crayons and I got this shade why is this one shorter did something happen? Oh, the little pod pop out. Oh, wait there. So they have a little sharpener at the end of them. And one of them has popped out. Great. I will try to find that. But I got the shade. Which shade is this? Come on, tell me the shade now. This is Sly Like a Fox, which is an orangey shade. And then this is Stealing Hearts. And they're really beautiful colors. Let me tell you, you put these on, they're waterproof, they're budge proof, they ain't going nowhere. I got a matte gray and then the matte, like, burnt orange they're going nowhere they're really beautiful really great shades I love 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 these and they have a pink they have a yellow they have blue but these are the shades that I wanted because I don't really have these in my collection so that's why I grabbed those shades only and then I grabbed people are asking what I had on my lower lash line during my reviews for the champagne pop the film star bronze and glow and then the Kat Von D lipsticks on my lower lash line I had this on it is the Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner, again, waterproof, and this is a matte one, and it is in the shade My Boyfriend's Jeans. And they have eyeshadows in this, they have liners in this, and now they have like this jumbo eyeshadow pencil. It's oh, such a beautiful electric blue. It's beautiful, it's budge proof, it's really gorgeous. And then I also grabbed the shade... What shade is this? This one is the shade Staying Alive, which is a teal. And I grabbed the shade Pretty Little Thing, which is like a pinky taupe shade. And these are actually really great shades as well. They have like a multitude of shades and they're budge proof. They're really great. The only thing is I feel like they blend out really easily into a sheer color rather than staying pigmented so you do have to layer them up if you want intensity but they work well on the lower waterline they're just really beautiful colors so again that was what Ugh, I told you the shades you remember them right you, I, you remember them and then I grabbed one of their colorful wink it felt liners and they have again a bunch of shades in this this is the shade, I got a green one, because I don't have any other, any one of these. I don't have a shade like this in my collection. This is the shade Army Babe, which is a army green shade. Again, waterproof, budge proof, really gorgeous. It's like almost like a muted 
blackened green shade. It's a forest green shade. It is just really, really pretty. I'm just showing you the bunch of colors from Sephora on the back of my hand so you can see what those colors look like because I didn't show you individually. Really quickly, I took off my lashes, I took off my jewelry, I was ready to go wash my face and go to bed, but I should show you these two eyeshadows that I picked up also from NARS. This is the Telesto shade, and this is Parifé? Pa Pacifé. Pacifé, I think. But they're, this one is a duochrome like green and brown shade and then this one is just a bronzy shade and I wanted to just quickly show you guys these um, and then you can get back to your regularly scheduled program but they are so beautiful I just wanted to come on and show you quickly these are from their limited edition collection that just came out for the summertime so those are the two shades and these are the dual intensity eyeshadows so you can use them wet or dry aren't they beautiful all right now we can carry on with the rest of the haul and you guys probably are wondering but i did grab some of the ColourPop liquid lipsticks i grabbed a bunch of them actually let me grab them i grabbed quite a few and i have a couple more coming in and so far i absolutely hate them <laughs> i'm just gonna say i'm just gonna be very honest with you i absolutely detest these freaking liquid lipsticks they're the worst formula I have tried ever. Yes, and that's saying a lot. And and I mean, ColourPop, you know I love ColourPop colors. Their cheek colors, their eyeshadows, their lipsticks, their lip pencils, love them. The regular lipsticks, the um, like the lippy sticks, love them. But they fell short on the liquid lipsticks. The formula dries down beautiful colors, really nice. But when it dries, it flakes and it flakes off. It flakes off, like it flakes off. But now I lie to you, it crack and then it's like chipping paint. It just falls off and it falls off all over your clothes. So I have a review coming up because I need to talk about it because I just know. Just know, just know. So if you want to know right now, just know. But I will do a swatch video because the colors are so pretty and I'm trying to find a way to make them work. So if I discover some way, which is why I haven't reviewed anything yet because I'm trying to figure out if they work somehow but mm, so far not so much and as I mentioned these um these Sephora colors are waterproof this is a MAC wipe and they take forever to come off trust me so be mindful of that you will need a waterproof makeup remover or a cleansing oil to get these off because they are the business and then last up something that I recommend for everyone to really invest in sunscreen that works for you that you can reapply throughout the day especially for your skin we don't want you to get sunspots and worse heaven forbid skin cancer so definitely protect your skin it will prevent you from aging prematurely as well so protect your skin and for that I went ahead I have this as a travel size that goes around with me in my purse but um I went ahead I don't think it's the same thing I don't know if that was a limited edition thing but the little travel one that I have is not the same thing it is not the same thing <laughs> but I grabbed the super goop defense refresh setting mist with rosemary and it's a matte finish three in one it sets makeup controls oil and delivers UV photo agent protection and it's SPF 50 so you spray this over your skin yeah, you know, so sets your makeup down, keeps you matte, controls shine, and it gives you sun protection, which is great for me. And with oily skin, I need that oil control. It does essentially work to set your makeup and do a little bit of oil control, but it's not something that controls my oil by itself. Like I need to do my matte primer and my whole routine and then set my makeup with this. This is like an added step, but it does do a nice job of finishing up the makeup and setting it down in place. But you know, I wouldn't rely on this for complete oil control, but the SPF, I'm all about it. So I spritz this throughout the day. So I spritz this before I go to work and then, um, you know, just during the day. And then I will spritz it if I'm going back outside again and I know I'm gonna be in the sun. I mostly stay indoors and I stay away from the sun a lot. But if I'm going outdoors, that's what I use over my makeup. But I have like my Neutrogena spray sunscreen for the rest of my skin. But this is what I use for my face because I don't want to use that Neutrogena one on my skin. On my face, you know. I use it on my skin, obviously. But I don't use it on my face because 
I just don't like how it messes with my makeup so I use this guy and this one works well over makeup which is why I mention it because it's makeup we need something over our makeup and we need something that we can reapply without getting messy and gloopy and you know just too shiny and I find that the spray SPF that I got from Paula's Choice this one here this has SPF how much 43 this one just is a little bit too shiny for me to use for makeup so this one I will also use on my skin gives a nice sheen to the skin like it gives in you see like there's a sheen but I wouldn't use this on my face unless I'm using it under makeup but I wouldn't use it to reapply um, oh, throughout the day because it's just gonna make me shiny but this one also I wouldn't use this for your skin unless on your face unless you're going for like a sheen or you have um, dry skin but if you have oily skin no but on my skin yes so I have those spray sunscreens really enjoy them and that's it that's gonna finish up this haul and it didn't turn out to be as quick as I was intending but I did want to share those products with you guys so definitely check out some of these products I think they're definitely worth it and it would be you know it's something to check out and if you're interested and stuff yeah <laughs> you get what I'm saying so thank you guys so much for watching I will leave a full list of the products that I mentioned down below and links where you can pick them up if you are interested and there will be more videos coming out soon so stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye